Hello everyone, welcome back to the Google Cloud Platform Tutorials. In this video, we are going to work on getting started with Cloud Games. Sign into your Quick Labs account and start your lab. Soon after you start your lab, activate the cloud shell and start performing the task. First command that we are going to use is to activate our account name. And the next command is to list the project ID. Now we are going to create a cloud storage bucket and a unique name need to be given to the bucket and here we are going to give the name of the bucket as the project ID. Replace this your name with the project ID or even we can use another bucket name also. Then to create this bucket, whether is it running or not, we are going to execute this command. And here this MB represents making a bucket. And we'll check whether this task has been completed or not. moving to the next step and this is about Enron Corpus when you click on this you could able to see some data about this and there are more than 6 lakh emails that are being generated in this And you can check it out about this and moving to the next step we are going to enable cloud KMS and we didn't get any output here as cloud AM, AMS is enabled in our project and now we are going to create a key ring and crypto key here the key ring name is going to be test and crypto key name is going to be quick lab Using this key ring, we are going to create crypto key with the name of Big Lab. And to check whether these key ring and crypto keys are created or not, we are going to get back to a navigation menu. And in navigation menu, search for security. In, and in security, we could able to find cryptographic keys. Click on that.
and you could able to see here the test has been created the key ring and the crypto key quick lab and the location is global and moving to next step we are going to encrypt our data with the help of these commands Encrypt your data with these commands. Execute this command and moving to the next step. Connection has been established. Now And to verify whether the data can be decrypted or not, we are going to execute this particular command. And to encrypt this file, Here this and here the option operation has been completed. And the next step is to configure IAM permissions. Execute these following commands that were provided to us. In here, we could able to see the permissions. I am permissions that we have added right now. These are the roles, the members. And to backup data on the command line, use these. Wait for until the connection establishes. Now we'll check whether this data has been backed up or not.
and to view the cloud audit logs you are going to get back to the navigation menu stories and browser In browser, we are going to click on your bucket. And when we click on it, we could able to see some inbox. In the LNP. And then earlier we have checked this key rings and crypto keys and beside this permission signal we'll be having activity and then we could able to see the IAM permissions in that. Cloud KMS is integrated with Cloud IAM and audit logging so that you can manage permissions on individual keys and monitor how these are used. These are all the things that we have did in this about cloud KMS so the answer would be true so this is all about getting started with cloud KMS and thank you for watching